Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Johannes Grandwood, but you can call me Jojo. It's time for another guitar review. This time we... Oh, it's actually a bass, my bad, sorry. So this is the Harley Benton BZ6000NT. It needs a big name because it's a big instrument. So you're probably thinking, how good can a six string bass be for 350 euros? I've used this bass on a few gigs and a couple recording sessions, so I pretty much know what it can do. And the answer is, actually pretty good. Now the worst part about this bass is that it's really heavy, but if a skinny guy like me can handle it, then so can you. At least for home use and the occasional gig, it's not gonna be a problem. Be careful with your back though. They must have picked wood that looks better than it weighs, because at least from a distance, this is a really good looking instrument. When you get up close though, you can see why this bass isn't crazy expensive. Some air bubbles here and there, and even some frets are a bit wonky. None of this affects the playability though, which I don't have anything to complain about. <laughs> I have to tell you something and I don't want you to get shocked, but I'm actually a guitarist. So I've been tuning this bass not in fourths, but with the same intervals as a guitar. I guess that would be called B standard. This allows me to play chords and shred the way I'm used to on a guitar. So that's one fun thing you can try. This bass is a bunch of knobs down here, most of which I don't really use that much. You got your pickup blend knob so you can fade between the two pickups, and then the volume knob with a push-pull switch between active and passive, which makes a pretty loud spike when you switch, by the way, so be careful. Now, only if you're in active mode, you can use the equalizer. You got lows, mids, and even highs. It does what an EQ should do, and has plenty of headroom to both boost and cut. My strategy, though, is to save battery power and just use the EQ on the amp. That can work fine too, I just wish there were a passive tone button as well. I thought I'd do a quick but solid demonstration of what the pickups sound like. The sound you're hearing is completely dry, recorded straight into my audio interface. <laughs> I think you get the best all-around slap sound in the middle position, while the neck position sounds almost p bassy with a deeper, chunky tone, and then the bridge position might work best for chords or high melodies or really angry yako sounding funk lines. <laughs> So I hope that by now you have some sort of an understanding of what this bass is like. I would definitely give it my thumbs up, and if you like this video you can give me your thumbs up. There are a couple of videos of me playing this bass in a real world situation, so if you want to see those I'll link them down in the description. I have to go now, but you can still leave a comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much, goodbye!